Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help my channel out a lot, so hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin pyramid, and I'm going to be putting a full-size dried rose in there. I'm going to be doing a purple rose. It turned out really, really pretty. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera just to save time, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin and your pigments, I will link my keychain tutorial down below in the description box. Um, I posted that a few days ago and I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin, so check that out if you want to see how to mix your resin. I just cut the mixing out of this video to save time because this is a little bit of a longer video. I poured this piece in four layers, so let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, I'm going to be wearing my respirator. You should always wear your respirator when you're working with resin. I will link the one I use down below in the description box. I get it off Amazon. And so that's enough from me. I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next week for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. So here's my pyramid mold. I get this from Dryer Days Art Studio. I'll link it down below in the description box. I'm going in with a little bit of this True Blue Tint by Lares. I just added a tiny drop to the end of my plastic knife here. I like to use plastic knives to mix my resin because the wooden stir sticks can introduce bubbles into your resin. Just mixing that into 1.5 ounces of clear liquid diamonds resin, and this is going to help offset yellowing. All resin yellows over time. Time. So adding a little bit of this blue is going to kind of help offset that. And when you do your first layer of your pyramid, you are going to get some bubbles just because of the tapered shape of the pyramid. So go in with your heat gun on low and pop those bubbles and they'll pop right away. That was pretty much it for the first layer, 1.5 ounces. I'm going to add my dried rose here. I have this attached to a little skewer. Once I have it where I want it, I'm going to tape it down to the sides of the pyramid just to make sure it stays in place while it's drying overnight. Here we are the next day, 24 hours later. I took that skewer off in the tape. I'm going in with three ounces of just clear liquid diamonds resin. And for this layer, I didn't add any of the true blue tint. This is just plain clear resin. I'm trying to move all of the bubbles towards the rose so I can go in with my heat gun on low and pop those easily. And you can also scoop them out as well. With your stir stick, you can just grab the bubble and wipe it on your wax paper. Here we are, layer three. I'm just snipping some of the leaves off of the bottom of the rose. I decided I didn't want those in there, so I just went in with some scissors and snipped those off. Here we are with three more ounces of the liquid diamonds, just plain clear resin. And I am pouring this in several layers because you don't want to pour the liquid diamonds really deep in one shot. Um, the instructions say you don't want to pour it over two inches deep um, per pour, so I broke it up into sections because I didn't want to have any problems with it. Um, if you pour it super deep in one shot, it can crack, so I didn't want that to happen, so that was why I poured it in the separate layers. Again, I'm just taking those bubbles and moving them towards the center so I can hit them with my heat gun on low to pop them, or you can go in with some 91% isopropyl alcohol like I did right here, and they pop right away, or scoop them out with your wooden stick and wipe them on some wax paper. And once you have them scooped out, you can just kind of place it on your wax paper. I like to work over wax paper whenever I'm doing resin. And now I'm just going in with some iridescent Mylar flakes. Um, you can get these from Laura's Art Corner as well. I'm just covering the entire bottom of this layer and that's it. I'm going to cover it up with an upside down storage container, let it dry for 24 hours, and then we're gonna go in and pour the final layer. So here we are 24 hours later. For this layer, I'm gonna be using this amethyst pigment from Arteza and some Supernova Glitz and Glam pigment powder from Laura's Art Corner. And I'm just sprinkling that right in. This is three ounces of Liquid Diamonds resin again. And I have a coupon code for the Liquid Diamonds if you guys wanna check it out. I get it from the Epoxy Resin store. I'll link it down below. I just mixed that in really well and then poured it into my 
pyramid. Super simple and easy. I did have a few spots where I didn't get that mica powder mixed in all the way. So I'm gonna go in with my stir stick and just kind of mix that in or scoop it out. You could do um, either one if you see little kind of chunks of mica powder. And that was it. Super easy for this last layer. I covered it up, let it dry for 24 hours, and now here we are ready to demold it. And I like to sprinkle baby powder inside the base of my pyramid mold. That helps the insert pop out really easily. So here it is. We're demolding it now. It turned out really pretty. I just love how those iridescent mylar flakes look with that purple background that we poured over it. This turned out really, really nice. I just love the purple rose. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And I purchased um, these dried roses, but you can totally dry your own. Um, just get some roses, hang them upside down for a few weeks, let them dry, and then you'll have dried roses. You can also use silica gel or silica beads to dry out your flowers, um, but I'm really new to that. I haven't really dove into that yet. I want to, but I haven't posted it in a tutorial yet because I haven't done that yet but it is definitely something that I am planning on doing in the future. So here it is outside and some really good lighting. I just love how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I will link a few of my favorites right here at the end card screen. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video. I made another um, rose pyramid a while back and that one turned out really pretty as well. So thanks again guys. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you soon for another video and as always I will link all the materials I use down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. If you guys want to get any of these products it'll save you a little bit of money. Bye guys!